we go. Playing songs backwards to hear a hidden message. It's called backmasking. You thought it ended with the Beatles, but some say even music by Britney and Eminem have hidden messages. Fox's Christine Devine has the story. The dust. Another one. The dust. Play it normally, and it's one of Queen's best-known songs. Another one. The dust. Put this record in reverse, and some say you'll hear this. It's called backmasking, the supposedly secret sounds hidden in songs. Pink Floyd, John Lennon, the Eagles, even Britney Spears. They're all rumored to have hidden messages in their music. There's certain people that think it's just a coincidence. And in some examples, it may be just a coincidence, but I think some of it is intentional. Audio engineer Brian Vibberts at El Dorado Recording Studio says backmasking was popular in the 70s and 80s, died down in the 90s when CDs became popular. Now he says it's making a comeback in the digital age. Well, anything that you know it says something, one thing forward, and then you play it in reverse and it says something completely different, it's just fascinating. And websites like this are adding to the intrigue. It's made it easier for people to, to listen for it. You can pick clips from famous songs, play them forward and in reverse to hear for yourself. Take this Eminem hit, for example. My is, forward. My name is. My name is. It's named Sadie. But in reverse. And it's not just lyrics you can play around with. One website called talkbackwards.com lets you upload and reverse any audio files all for free. Well, that track came from Pink Floyd uh, song. Many recording artists accused of backmasking on their songs, of course, deny it. That builds up the controversy, then they sell more records. Okay, or maybe CDs. it works for them.